everybody. It's Darren Moore again for CAD Microsystems and Bluebeam Review. You know, I'm frequently asked, what does Bluebeam Review Complete include that Bluebeam Review Core and Basics do not? Now, what I did is I went to a website here, uh, bluebeam.com. It says UK, so it's probably for the, for the United Kingdom, but I'm sure it's, it's applicable to the US. And there's a comparison guide uh, on this website, and it's about an eight-page guide. Now, what I did is I downloaded it or I printed it to... Um, to PDF and I took that PDF and I brought it into uh, Bluebeam Review and you can see looking at the uh, the thumbnail panel it is an eight page um, uh, PDF basically and there's a lot of information here but what I did is I used Bluebeam Review and I sort of whittled down just the the absolute you know what is in uh, Bluebeam Review complete and using um, what I used was the edit uh, tab and PDF content and I cut a lot of content out of this PDF, making it a, a single page PDF. Now, uh, on the right side here, it's kind of a comparison of Bluebeam Review 21 and Bluebeam Review 20. And then Extreme was what, you know, uh, they were calling complete uh, back in Bluebeam Review 20. So a lot of the videos that I've made recently uh, relate to a lot of the things that Bluebeam Review Complete does that the others do not. So the very first thing is uh, quantity link. You may have seen me do a video where I, I created a quantity link between uh, and a uh, Bluebeam review and a PDF and an Excel spreadsheet. Quantity Link is a live connection between uh, Bluebeam review and an Excel spreadsheet. So if you're quantifying uh, equipment, uh, receptacles, light fixtures, whatever it might be, you create the quantity link. You'll, you'll find that video uh, here on LinkedIn and other places, but uh, that's a live link between Bluebeam Review and an Excel spreadsheet. So if you add material, the the values increase in the Excel spreadsheet, or if you remove material, the, the quantities decrease. So that is unique to complete. Also, uh, we have the ability to section off and fill regions to generate markups uh, and measurements with dynamic fill. So you probably saw my video in dynamic fill. I may have uh, filled a pool uh, with dynamic fill and then converted that fill to an area measurement. So that doesn't exist in core and complete. And I see that a lot of times in training where folks are attending training. One of our uh, topics in our level one uh, class is how to use dynamic fill. And I'll have people uh, reach out to me and say, hey, I don't have that. Why, why don't I have that? It's probably because they have core or basics or basic. Uh, yeah, basics. Sorry. Uh, after that, automatically create navigational hyperlinks across specific group of documents and batch process hyperlinks for large uh, document sets. Well, if I go to tool and I go to hyperlink, I can create a hyperlink between uh, this PDF and any other PDF, or I can create a hyperlink between this PDF and um, a website or what have you, any, any kind of document. And um, I'm not sure if that's exactly what they're referring to, but what uh, what's what's stated right right below it is if I go to the batch tab, there's a batch link option and a batch link. We in our level two class we cover how to use batch link, where we create a hyperlink between a, a sheet index, you know, A101 a through S202, about 15 different pages. We combine our uh, multi-page uh, PDF and then we do a batch link where you will see a, uh, a highlight on A101, A2.2, whatever. You click on that highlight and it will jump you to that page. So batch linking is, allows you to, you know, in one or two steps, link uh, specific portions of a PDF to any number of uh, PDFs. So that's uh, a, a batch and a lot of your batch um, uh, features are exclusive to uh, Bluebeam Review Complete. Uh, below that, automatically insert new page revisions or replace current page with revisions across multiple documents. And that was my last video, uh, Batch Slip Sheet. I'd gone into, I had created that set. And then after I created the set, we sort of did a scenario where, uh, hey, we've got an updated set of documents. We went to the Batch tab, went to Slip Sheet, and slip sheeted, you know, slip sheeted all the, the updated sheets uh, together. Again, that is exclusive to Bluebeam Review Complete. And then finally, implementing scripting across commands, or excuse me, impl implementing scripting commands. Um, I believe they're referring to the ability to have um, uh, stamps. Here's a stamp right here. I'll go ahead and left click on this stamp, and I'll left click and place the stamp. 
and that should bring up a JavaScript window. And the JavaScript, you can actually have stamps that have JavaScripts that allow you to fill out the stamp, like in this case, the planner, um, who approved or who reviewed this and so forth, uh, the date, case number. I'll just, you can see I, I, it's pulling um, my name uh, from the uh, options dialog box, basically on the author, because I'm placing the stamp. You can see the date, case number. I'll just type in one, two, three, four, and approval condition. I'll just say approved and I'll click OK. And then once I click OK, we should see that stamp. And it's a little bit cluttered here, but this is a, a client stamp, City of Westminster, California, I believe. And um, there's all my data filled out like so. So that's that's kind of what's, what's I'm going to undo that for now. I'll go edit and undo, kind of it's a clearer uh, image. But really, uh, the, the things that you can do in Bluebeam Review Complete would include, again, your quantity link, uh, your dynamic fill, batch link, uh, batch hyperlinking, and ba process hyperlinks for large document sets, which again, be large, like a, a batch, um, a slip sheet, and the scripting. So there you have it. I'm Darren Moore for CAD Micro and Bluebeam Review. Thanks for watching.